Welcome to the Current Car Regulations tool. This tool represents a first step in increasing transparency surrounding CARB's regulatory programs. The preliminary prototype contains data for airborne toxic control measures, also known as ATCMs. Data for all of CARB's regulatory programs will be added soon. This video will review the features of the tool, including program name and search, using filters, and using buttons to show more information. CARB's regulatory programs may be known by multiple names. This information is compiled behind the scenes to facilitate search. Though a single name is displayed in the tool, the search box includes alternative names and keywords. For example, the program commonly known as the Dioxins ATCM is also called the Dioxins Airborne Toxic Control Measure for Medical Waste Incinerators. Searching all or part of either of these terms will return the correct program. The two graphs at the top of the tool function as filters. Click the graph to filter the data. To remove the filter, you can either click the graphic again, press the escape key, or refresh your browser. When you open the tool, you will see a list of regulations, which are linked to program web pages. There are three buttons used to show or hide additional information. CARB's regulatory programs are codified in the California Code of Regulations, known as the CCRs. The CCRs contain formal regulatory text for each program. Each CCR section number is linked to the formal regulatory text maintained by the Office of Administrative Law. Once within the CCR web page, you can quickly navigate to surrounding sections using the Table of Contents feature. Each regulatory program is adopted and then may be amended over time. For example, the ATCM for TRUs was adopted in 2003 and was subsequently amended twice. The final button compiles this rulemaking history for each program back to approximately the year 2000. Click the rulemaking date to view the corresponding formal rulemaking webpage. These pages contain valuable information and analyses used to develop the regulation. That concludes our overview of the CARB Regulations tool. Thanks for watching.